Hi there, I am standing by my sundial in the midst of my rose garden and the sundial says, yep, it's time to answer questions for plantersplace.com. Now, www.plantersplace.com is the website where you can ask me garden questions and I answer them within 48 hours. So visit the website, sign up, and then you check back and in 48 hours I'll answer your gardening questions. So. Right now, my iPhone tells me that I have a question that has just come in, and it is about roses. And uh, this lady likes to grow organic roses. That means she doesn't want to use any spraying, but she has seen some little green bugs on her roses. And I suspect these are aphid. Let me show you what I mean. Aphid, or in some parts of the country, they're called plant lice. Uh, they'll be usually on the tips or new growth of your roses. And this makes them easy to control using just these two fingers. So what I do is I just get in here, and where I see the aphid right in the folds of the leaf, and every garden in the spring has a few aphid, and I'll just pinch or squeeze the aphid just like that. And there's a reason that I'm doing this. You can wear gloves if you're squeamish. And the reason is I want to leave the dead aphid on the leaves because not only does that make the other aphid that are floating around in the airstream afraid to come down into your garden, yes, it's true, insects really do communicate, but also, I'm pruning, see if I have any more here, that leaves those aphids sitting out there attracting ladybugs to come and feast on them. So if I were to use a insecticide spray on my roses, the aphid, not only would they taste bad and it would not encourage the ladybugs and the birds to come, um, but um, also using insecticide spray, if you want to be a totally uh, pesticide free gardener, that wouldn't quite work. So remember, the answer to a lot of insect control is at the end of your hand, simply pinching and leaving the squished body of the aphid on your rose plants. This is Mary Ann Bonetti, ready to answer your questions on Ask the Expert at plantersplace.com.